in this tutorial i'm going to show you a very creative and very unique uh, circular chart in powerpoint as you can see here i have put four circular options uh, with is green which is one two three and four and it gives you how much percentages like 45 percent 70 percent 55 and 60 percent and when i click using the morph transitions it will give you the legend at the bottom so what does green means purple orange or the teal color means it is a very unique and very interesting slide to make uh, so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and go to view enable the guides and i'm going to insert five uh, oval shapes of various sizes to insert the oval shape go to insert shapes and from basic shapes select oval just click anywhere shape outline make it no outline and for temporary purpose i'm just going to change the color and the height and width i'm going to give as 1.5 inches and then align center align middle press ctrl d to duplicate it give some a darker color and here i'm going to give a gap of uh, 0.75 inches so here if i add 0.75 it will be 2.25 2.25 and 2.25 send this to back and then align center align middle Control d to duplicate so this is the third oval shape i'm just going to give a more darker color and here if i add uh, 0.75 it will be 3 and again send to back and align center and align middle then press ctrl d this is the fourth let me just give some darker color or different color and here it will be 3.75 again send this to back align center align middle so one two three four now this is the last one five fifth one i'm going to give some different color again if i add so it will be a 4.5 and 4.5 send this to back align center align middle so you can see here we have created the five oval shapes now i'm going to make a duplicate of this slide right mouse click click on duplicate slide so if anything goes wrong then i have the backup slide so i'm just going to select all the shapes by pressing ctrl a you can see here all the shapes got selected then go to format merge shapes and just say fragment and you can see here we have got different uh, uh, boxes you can see not boxes sorry the hollow shapes created so i'm just going to select all again i'm going to give a shape outline of some black and shape fill for the meantime i will make it no fill for this and this also for as a safer side i'm just making a duplicate slide and i'm keeping it here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the second circle the first circle this is second circle no this is not the first okay this is the circle actually so this uh, duplicate is there i'll just delete that one so this is the first one so i'm just going to set the first circle go to format shape fill and i'm going to give one color to it and then i'm going to select the second one give a different color to it then third one i'm just selecting i'm going to give a different color then fourth i'm going to give some different color then i'll just say align center align middle so you can see here i've just given a different colors now i'm going to change this shape from the oval to some other shape so after selecting the first green circle i'll go to format edit shape and i will say change shape to this one which is the partial circle 
you can see here this is the partial circle i can just reduce the size and then i'm just going to select this again the same i'm just going to select to the partial circle and i have to just say send to back and then let me just increase a little bit this side and i'll make equals to the green here then i'll select the same edit shape partial circle i will increase a little bit and i will just make the same size here and the last also i'm just going to do the same thing edit shape change shape to partial circle and then send this to back reduce the size equal size here and this one i'm just increasing the size so you can see here i have just changed uh, from the hollow circle to the partial circle now i'm going to slide the one which i have created before as a backup copy i'm just going to select all or you can press ctrl a and go to format shape fill you can use some light colors actually we need to fill white color uh, but later on i'm just going to change from gray to white now i'm going to select the first green circle control c bring it here control v go to format align center and align middle and just say send back you can see here and then i can increase the size or decrease the size and then i'm just going to select the orange one control c control v and again align center align middle and then just send back send back and this one this particular i'll bring to front so you can see here i can increase the size also something like this then i'm just going to select the purple one control c and control v again align center align middle send back all right so you can see here i can increase the size and this one i'm going to bring it to front and the last one which is the teal color control c control v align center and align middle i'll just say send back and i can increase the size and again this one i'll bring to front so you can see here now i'll just select this all this uh, gray color one and i'm going to fill with white so our basic design is ready so let's work on the other items now other shapes now i'm going to select all these objects green orange purple and green and go to format shape outline and make it no outline and right mouse click go to format shape you can give some shadow effect to it kind of shadow effect and these colors also you can just change it you can go to the line and you can make it more transparent and if required you can give the different colors also to this particular lines in the center i'm just going to add one more oval shape control d the smaller one reduce it and give some different color maybe i'm just going to give a red shape outline make it no outline and this also shape fill i will just make it white and the transparency effect also we need to increase it and then select this align center align middle and now i'm just going to add some more effects i'm just zoom it a little bit and here i'm just going to add a oval shape so go to insert shapes and draw the oval shape and you can give the same green color which i have used something like this gray color also and 
with the same outline i'll just say outline is the same outline which this one and fill this with a light gray color something like this control d to duplicate it put it and you can see here i'm just going to give the same sorry the same control d and i will bring it here and i'm going to fill with the same color You can use shape fill and eyedropper select this and this also the same color and control D I'm just going and putting it here shape outline eyedropper and shape fill the same color and control D shape outline I'm going to select this and fill also the same color let me just okay so you can see here our basic uh, design is ready and now you can increase or decrease it as per your requirement for example let me just select this and i want to put this one here so what you need to do is before adjust before adding this one you need to adjust it according to your requirement all right so something like this you can uh, do it there and now you can just put the numbers and the options here i'll just say that green is one zero one reduce the size whichever font of your choice you can just select it so this is one Control D. Two, three and four and make sure that this is properly aligned. All right, and then you can put the percentages this side control D. I will say that this is say a 45 percentage and you can just add whatever the percentage which you want to display it. Let me just uh, remove the guidelines. So 45 I will just say this is 60. I will say this is 75 and this is I will say a 65. And you can just change the font size and you can give the same color as of your the circles so you can see here the design is ready and uh, if you have the morph transition which is available in office 365 version you can use the morph transition to add the details or the legends below so uh, to add the morph transitions before that i'm just going to do some modifications i'm going to give some uh, the naming of each object for that go to home select selection pane and i'm just going to select this one and i will just say exclamation exclamation and green and i'm just going to type this one as exclamation exclamation as orange i will tell you why i'm doing that exclamation 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 purple and the last one is uh, i can say it's steel color okay now i'm just going to duplicate this slide and select all these objects move up and i'm going to select this press duplicate and bring it down here select this ctrl d to duplicate 
bring it down here and control D and here for the second slide I'm just going to give the transition morph transition now let me just do a slideshow let me just go to slide number four and when I click it moves up but this should come drops from here actually it is not getting dropped uh, the reason is the name the same green and green here it's same name so I'm just going to change this name as one two three and four so let's see whether it works now or not when I click yes you can see here when I click immediately it's coming and it's showing here why how this uh, uh, morph transition works here is for example I have just given the same name here green and the same name I have green, given the green here and you have to always before any uh, text you have to put double exclamation mark so that it knows that okay it will it has to move from this position to this position or whichever position otherwise if the name is not matching it will not move okay then you can just add some detailed text here this is the legend add detail text here reduce the size control D give the equal spacing I'm not giving any equal spacing here and if I show you the final one when I click it goes here so isn't it great that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye